what's up everyone this is Goswe here from serene arts i hope we are doing super super great out there so in this tutorial we are going to design a simple social media flyer just like this one to advertise your business out there so in the next few minutes i'm going to take you through this step by step so just sit back relax take some wine and watch me as i take you through this to the end so the first thing that we are going to do is to change the size of our work background and we are going to use youtube thumbnail so you tap on image from image you tap on custom then when you tap on custom you move down to youtube thumbnail you tap ok now the next thing that you need to do is to delete the test right here because we literally don't need it now and right after that what you have to do is to import the picture that we'll be using into the working space so we tap on this icon from there you go to import now from import you select the picture that you want to use and i will select this size which is the size for youtube thumbnail all right right after doing that i'll come to relative size and increase it to the fullest now after doing that i'll push the image to the top a little bit now the reason for that is that once i push the image to the top and i place my remaining elements the image will be showing clearly on the working space now right after pushing the image to the top i'll lock the layer so that it not distract me whilst i'm working on other elements so the next thing to do is to insert shape so i'll tap on shapes tap on this icon here and pick this particular shape the semicircle and increase the size of it to fill my working area nicely mind you i'm going to rotate this particular shape so just watch me carefully so right after inserting the shape you move down to rotate and rotate the shape 180 degrees then tap on the check mark push the shape down a bit You can further increase the size of it if you are not okay with it all right so once i'm done with that i'll make a duplicate of this uh, uh, shape by tapping on copy now once i tap on that i'll go and change the color of it to white i'm changing the color to white because i'll use it to cut the other one at the bottom all right so i will just place it on the other one nicely so that i can cut it off perfectly so look at what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the size of this white one a bit like this increase it again just to make sure that when i'm cutting it give me a perfect cut okay so let's do that so we get a perfect place to cut if the need arise you go to the previous layer and push it up a bit just like i'm doing right here okay i think this is okay now you can come and place this one nicely right here and proceed with whatever you want to do so once this is done i'll tap on a layer icon and select the two shapes at the top and match them all right so tap on ok to match them once you match them come to the sidebar come to erase color and erase it this way once this is done the next thing that you are going to do is to make sure that you either change the color of this whole shape all right this whole shape you either change the color of it or come back to the erase color and increase the tolerance a little bit okay once you increase the tolerance a little bit tap on the check mark come back to color all right and input the same color again once you've done that come back and position the shape well at your working area okay now once that is done the next thing to do is to make a duplicate of this particular 
shape so what you are going to do is to tap on copy once that is done you go to color change the color of it to a different color just like this one then come back to layers from layers you push this layer at the top you push it down the first one okay so make sure you lock the top one then once you've done that hide the layers again come to position and push this one down a bit make sure it fits perfectly onto the working area that's very very much important okay so right after that you come back to the first layer at the top and add a shadow effect to it so let's go to shadows and enable shadow just to give it a nice look okay like this so once that is done we lock the two layers right after locking the two layers the next thing to do is to insert a rectangular shape a very small one for that matter just like this right here okay so the color will be this and you push it to the top left corner of the work just like this and you make a duplicate of it and this time around you change the color to our orange type so you move it this way a bit you tap on the check mark and leave it right there so from here you can go ahead and insert another shape for that matter you are going to insert a circle all right so you reduce the size a little bit bring it here change the color to the orange type that you used earlier one put it here tap on a check mark and leave it there now the next thing to do is to insert our test so first of all, we need to have the company's name so at the top you write the company name all right company name to probably be at the top here so let's just change the color of the font and also change the font itself so i'm going to use open sans bold all right so i'll reduce the size of it a little bit and leave it there i think 25 will be okay for me so with a 25 i'll just push the test down a little bit and leave it there that's pretty much cool now the next thing to do is to put in our remaining test so i'll put in agus promo and proceed with that now with the agus promo the color will be white and it will be on this orange background and the font will be googled all right the fonts will be googled so this is the font that i'll be using googled upload this particular one and i'll make sure i position the test well onto the circle right here okay Now once that is done, we need to add the remaining test onto the work. So the remaining test will be like boost your business. Boost your business with just a click. Alright. The color of this will also be white and we'll put it on this background. So all that we need to do is to change the font and we are going to use just a regular font over here like this one and we need to change the style to a little bit bold and reduce the size so that it also fits perfectly onto our working area. Okay so I'll be using 30 for this one and i'll make a duplicate of this particular test then i'll write call us then i input the number over there colors and i'll make it capitalized then bring it down here 
once I bring it down I just have to reduce the size of it way down to let's say 20 and I just have to push it down a little bit as well so that it gets to be separated from the main test at the top okay once that is done I'll go ahead and copy it at the phone number to it so let's say I'm adding my own number so 0558378971 okay so I'll just go ahead and put it there quickly so I just have to make sure that it's aligned with whatever is at the top okay push it up a little bit then come back and push this one to down a little bit so basically this is how to design a simple business flyer in Pizzle Lab alright if you want to download the Pizzle Lab the link is in the description and if you want to join my telegram community whereby we share graphic designing resources you can go ahead and join the link is equally in the description and other links to my free graphic designing resource for smartphone graphic designers that ebook the link also is in the description just just send me a message on whatsapp you get my number in the description send me a message on whatsapp to get a copy for yourself it's absolutely free you don't need to pay a dime for it okay so go ahead and message me on whatsapp just let me know that you are in for the book and i'll send it to you immediately so let's go ahead and save this work and that will be all all right so uh thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i hope to see you in the next one and please if you've not subscribed to this channel yet then kindly go ahead and do that and also like this video Leave a comment and share this video with your friends, okay? Do not go without liking the video, alright? Bless up.